development to just give it a try and the Godot engine I think is a great place to start. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked that. And I hope to see you in the next video. In the next video. In the next video. Uh, has it really been seven months? I'm sorry, I don't really have a good excuse. Uh, some good things happened, some bad things happened. Overall, it was a happy story. Uh, if you would like to know more about what happened in the last seven months while I was not on YouTube, uh, I will stick that at the end of this video and you can skip to that if for some reason you want to hear that at all uh, before the game stuff. But uh, anyway, my motivation is back. Uh, I've started working on the game again, and I have some more updates for you. So let's get into those, and at the end, I'll talk a little bit about where I've been and uh, the future of this channel and some of the things that I plan to do. So thanks for sticking with me. I know I've been gone a long time. I'm so sorry, but hopefully you like it. So let's get started. So first up is the menu screen, which has a slightly different layout, although it has the same buttons. I'm probably going to change the credits button to an about button and uh, add another scene there so that when you click on it, you can see the information about the game and where to find me and stuff like that. But overall, I think this is a bit better designed. It's a bit more focused on the actual buttons and uh, there's not like a big empty box behind them for, for some reason, as it was in the previous design. I've added a letterboxing effect to the game to indicate to the player that there is a cutscene taking place. And there's no full screen video or anything like that. All of the cutscene type events are in engine. And I thought adding the letterboxing would be a cool effect that indicates to the player that there's a cutscene taking place. I also have some pretty basic tutorial pop ups. Uh, the controls are going to be pretty simple and you're not going to be able to remap them, unfortunately. But they're currently based on a timer, so they pop up and then disappear after a few seconds. Uh, I might change that just because if somebody wants to be able to see the controls after these things pop up, there's currently no way to do that, so that might not be a, a great idea. But anyway, I just wanted something basic to indicate to the player that this is how you move around, this is how you pick up stuff and open up your sort of task list. Another thing you can finally do in the home scene is pick tomatoes. You could only pick carrots and the little lettuce heads before. I had to rework the tomato sort of objects into two different parts. Whereas before they were only one part and it would have looked weird if you picked the whole thing, including the sort of stock and the stick. But uh, another thing I'm working on is vegetable persistence. Currently, when you leave the scene after having picked some vegetables and you come back, it repopulates and all the vegetables are back. So I'm going to have to find a way to save the values of the vegetables in their locations or something like that in order to make sure that the ones you picked are gone when you return to the home scene. So the newest addition is this big machine-like thing that's sitting in the middle area of the game. And uh, currently the idea is when you collect butterflies and fireflies, you actually deposit them in the machine. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this because it kind of looks like the bugs are being blended up or something like that. And that's not what's going on. And uh, this is one of those things that I think I'm going to roll into a different area of the game. Like I'm probably going to change the design of this and actually put it in the field and then maybe remove the sort of center section of the game entirely because I kind of do want to reduce the scope of this game. I think it was kind of ambitious for me to include a bunch of different things like a dialogue system and an item system uh, where you can sort of pick up and hold things. And it's not really that I don't know how to do those things at this point. Rather, it's that it would take more time than I would want it to. And because this is my first game and sort of a proof of concept for other things that I have in mind, um, I don't want to overcomplicate things, I just want to build something from start to finish and get my point across. So I think I'm probably going to reduce the scope in a few different ways, including removing the middle section and then moving this sort of machine-like contraption into the field. Uh, because since you're already in the field collecting the bugs, and if you're depositing the bugs somewhere, it makes sense to have that thing right where you are collecting those bugs. And again, I'm probably going to change the design. I don't want people to think they're blending up their butterflies. Another thing you can do is talk to the fox character and to the crow character. And I really like this feature, although I'm struggling to find a way to include it into the sort of greater context of the game at this point. I think I might remove some dialogue and make it simpler and maybe remove one of the characters actually, uh, just in an effort to reduce scope as well. But uh, I really like that I implemented the feature and it kind of works okay for the way it works currently. So I don't want to necessarily get rid of all the work that I did. 
So, over the last seven months, what have I been up to? Uh, like I said, overall, happy story. Um, some good things and some bad things. The best thing that happened was I got married, and my wife and I had a pretty small socially distanced ceremony, and I think that was pretty good given the circumstances. Um, probably the worst thing that happened was I lost my job, kind of twice, for the same reason. And both of those reasons were somehow related to the coronavirus, budgetary restrictions, yada yada yada. But uh, anyway, I actually managed to find another job not too long ago, and I basically just started working there, so that's part of the reason my motivation is back to keep working uh, on all my side projects, which definitely took a back seat once I had to find something else. Another thing I did actually was just to take a break, kind of from everything. And I actually played video games for the first time in a long time, and I started working on whatever is in my Steam backlog. And that was fun, and I kind of just went from break to break to break, and that was like the first month of not being on YouTube. <laughs> Thankfully, my motivation is back. I have a plan for getting to the end of this game now. I'm going to streamline the player experience, I think. For example, you don't need to go, you're not going to need to go through the middle section of the game. I'm going to move some stuff that's in that little middle section that you just walk through into the field. That way you can get from the home screen to the field scene uh, more quickly. Um, and I'm going to rework some of the, how the field works. And uh, also I'm going to put that machine somewhere else. Actually, I might remove that. You know what? I'll do another video on that, I think. And once again, this game is going to be released for free on itch.io. And I think once I release the game, I'm going to set up a Patreon as well. And uh, that's another thing. Um, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I've sort of been posting there when I haven't been making YouTube videos, although I need to do that more often. Instagram is pretty much just clips from the game, as well as other artwork and stuff like that that I'm working on. Twitter is that stuff, but anything goes on Twitter, so I apologize in advance. <laughs> I also have a Tee Public page if you're interested in buying anything with my artwork on it. Um, and yeah, that's just something I thought would be interesting to set up. So yeah, that's what I've been up to the last seven months. Uh, not gonna have that kind of break in between posting videos again. Uh, hopefully not. No, no, definitely not. I have other videos already planned and I'm already working on them. So hope to see you in those videos whenever they pop up on YouTube. And thanks for sticking with me. I know it's been a rough year for everybody. I hope this has encouraged you in some way to pursue your own creative dreams, your own creative side projects, uh, whether it's in game development or anything else and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.